Thank you very much. Sir. Um, I'm going to get started with telling you the story of how this all came about. My buddy Gary Potter right there, and uh, Spider Thomas right there, and Bill Kutzer, we went up to uh, Donner to visit uh, uh, where well, we're going to stay a couple of days. We're going to visit our main objective was to visit Cal and Eileen. Um, regretfully, Cal and Eileen can't be here tonight, but uh, they are going to be well represented by uh, their uh, daughter and son, who I'll bring up in a few minutes. Um, uh, us three amigos here, we went over there to Cal's house for a visit. We had a great visit. Stayed about an hour and a half, told a lot of stories. Had a great time, and afterwards, after we left, we decided that we should probably go somewhere and get a bite to eat, and maybe a couple of cold beverages. <laughs> and uh, do some reminiscing. Um, reminiscing to baseball players and athletes is one thing. You go somewhere and you talk about how good you used to be, because everybody knows the older you get, the better you used to be. And that, that's we. So after uh, we're sitting there having a good time, and uh, all of a sudden, Spider and uh, Q-Ball, or Gary Quadrant, I should say, they said, uh, we got an idea. How about why don't we get a why don't we get a plaque for Cal and have a plaque made and put it out at the uh, baseball John Smith Field? And I looked over at Coots and he looked at me and it was like plaque for Cal, Billy Billy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So when we got back from the uh, when we got back from the trip, we got a meeting together with Mark and, and Cheryl and uh, uh, Watson and myself. And we got the okay to go ahead, and we started 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 on the process. I got a hold of all these old great players that used to play for Cal over here at this table. I thank you for letting us have your table tonight. And I know you guys, this is your usual table. We got to snug it out here. But these guys were very helpful. They all sent me email addresses, lists, um, um, got me every all the information I needed to. to reach out to people, and, and everybody wanted to send money. I think I was at about 980 by the time I sent the emails out, and everybody started sending money back. And that, during that process, my neighbor, who's been my neighbor across the street from me for 40 years, uh, he's here tonight, uh, Doyle Radford and his wife, Beth. Uh, he is the uh, business agent for Local 185, the laborers union. He said, what can I do to help? I said, hey, Doyle, if you'd like to Send a little donation, we sure appreciate it. And a week later, we had a check for $1,000 from Dora. Thank you, 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 Dora. So, uh, let me see. I'd like to apologize for anybody that, uh, you know, I, didn't, I couldn't contact. I can't contact everybody that played for Cal. But uh, I apologize for that. But we, we had enough money to. We got the kick for the plaque, no problem, and we got the kick down some money to register program here, and we're really happy about all that. So, I'd like to thank Cheryl, boys, for being on my archive committee. You know, we were going around the room and uh, searching for things, and she was very helpful for me for that. I'd like to shy, thank Tiffany over at the uh, monument place where we had the plaque made. She had to put up with all the we kept changing our mind and changing our mind and didn't like this, didn't like that. Finally came up with something we think is pretty special that you're going to get to see later. But uh, that was uh, that was all, uh, it all worked out really well. Before I go too much further, I'd like to thank someone who's very special in, uh, and very significant in the lives of all of us players who played for Cal. They knew every player, every player's name, every single good story, every funny story, every bad story, and and was always uh, by Cal's side, thick and thin, and always had Cal's back, as she still does, and that's what I like to call the mother of baseball, Sacramento State, Eileen Boyce, California. Uh, as you know, uh, Cal was an amazing guy. Uh, he was all about his players. He was all about, uh, is, is still an amazing guy, but he was all about his players when, when he was coaching here. 
and it was never about himself. He, he was very unselfish, and all he was trying to do is make a bunch of boys into baseball players and men. And uh, he, he was very, very special to all of us who played for him. Uh, not only, you know, while Cal was here in Sacramento State, he wore a lot of different hats. He was, uh, he was a, not only a baseball coach, but the uh, athletic director here, Terry Matt, interim athletic director, the uh, golf instructor, the, uh, the ski instructor, uh, the list goes on. I think uh, he'd do anything they asked him to do. I think he'd been the school nurse if they'd asked him to do that. <laughs> But uh, two of Cal's most uh, favorite or, or proudest accomplishments is he has a, he got his doctorate in health and education here, and he was also served his country in the United States Coast Guard and uh, achieved the uh, rank of commander. Now, commander's a pretty high rank, I don't know if you know it, but if you ever run a tour boat and something happens to the captain, Cal could drive him back home. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, um, I'm very proud to be here. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of nice stats over there on that plaque that you're going to get to look at, and um, and there's a lot of guys here that love Cal. And you know what? You don't you don't get to very often get to play for someone who is uh, a great coach, great mentor, a great friend, and also a wonderful human being, and that's Cal Boys. So uh, everybody. Cal, loves Cal, and they still love Cal. So, I'm going to have uh, Cheryl and uh, Bobby. Now, Cheryl was an ex-cheerleader for the Sac State Hornets baseball team. <laughs> and believe it or not, when I played, little, little Bobby there was uh, our bad boy. He wasn't that size when he was our bad boy. He was down. So, before I close on a quick, quick story, I want to give you a little bit of temperament how Cal, Cal was. Cal was never yelled at people. He got things done by people who, because they respected him, and wanted to do things with Cal, play hard with Cal. And I learned that pretty early. I come out, I come out to baseball as a sophomore, as a basketball player, and I come out to the baseball team. Of course, I got there a little late because baseball was already started. So I've been sitting around in the bench and fiddling around there for, for a while, about a week. And, we're, we're in a game, and Cal says, Reader, get up there and warm up. And they walk another guy and put you in and really. I said, Okay, coach, I can do that. So I get up there, and sure enough, we walk the guy, and uh, Cal says, Reader, get in here. So I did. Runners on first and third. I go in to do my warm up pitches and all that stuff, and when I get done, the catcher runs out, and he says, You got this, kid. He <laughs> said, You know what to do, right? And I said, Well, Whatever, he runs back behind the plate, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what that means. You know, I said, Kimmy, that complicated with me. One's a fastball, two's a fastball, three's a fastball, and four's a changeup, and that's just another fastball a little faster than the last one. So I didn't really know what he's talking about. So I go into my stretch, and I look down for the signal, and sure enough, fastball signal. But then he throws in a bunch of other garbage in that I really didn't recognize. He was patting both legs, he put going back and forth with his hands, and I thought, well, that can't be all that important, even if I don't know what it is, so I just, I just let one fly. But when I let one fly, the guy broke from second base, took off for second base. That catcher come out from behind second base, and he sold that throw to second like no tomorrow. I back out of the way to let that guy get thrown out at second, and then at that same instant, the guy breaks from home. Well, I look behind me, and the ball hits about 15 feet behind the mound. And I look her over my shoulder, and here comes Cal. Well, the guy scored easily from uh, third, and the guy went into second standing up, and here comes Cal. And I don't know if you remember, Cal kind of ran like a skinny Babe Ruth, like a home run truck, you know. He kept, he kept running out there. He goes, Reader! Now this is yelling at me. Reader, what are you doing? I said, I hate to tell you this, Coach, but that catcher's got a horrible arm. <laughs> He says, no, that's a play. You're supposed to cut that off and throw that guy out at the plate. I said, I wish you'd have told me that. I could have had it by 30 feet. <laughs> so anyway, 
Uh, Cal never got mad. I mean, that's that's how things work. He said, hey, hey keep that guy at second base and people can get out of this engine room. So nothing ever upsetting from Cal. So with all that said, I'd just like to thank everybody for being here tonight. Congratulations to the team. A wonderful job. Congratulations to Reggie for doing a great job here. We love you here, buddy. And we'll keep up and we'll keep on going. Here. This is the time. This is the time I'd like to have uh, Bobby and Cheryl go and unveil that plaque, and then Cheryl, if you, if you guys would like to say a few words, we appreciate it. One, two, two three. three. But he still is very sharp and still knows what's going on. In fact, when we talked to him about being at the baseball dinner tonight, in true baseball fashion, he got across to us that, oh, Reggie and those Hornets, they're, they're really good. And in baseball fashion, he went to hand signals. And he said, they made it to the, and he put his hands like this to signal that they made it to the regionals last year and they got into the tournament and that they were in a tournament with his hands. So in true baseball fashion, I think we're going to start communicating with the hand signals. But he's very aware. He still reads the, the Sacramento Bee Sports page every day. And if you want to see my dad light up, watch it when he reads that Sac State is beating the Aggies. So thanks to the, the team of 61, the team of 64, a lot of other players, fellow coaches, uh, players from other sports that are here tonight, because it's those memories of, of those great times that he still plays over and over again, and my mom still relives, that keep him going and that keep him really happy. So to the past players, uh, thanks for the, the memories, and thanks for all that, that he still needs to relive. To you young guys that are out here, um, just be aware you're making memories, so make them good. And uh, on behalf of the boys' family, again, thanks to everyone who put this flat together and, and put this all together. It's really heartfelt thank you to my parents. 